Damage Ranch Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown has announced he is resigning from office, leaving that second floor City Hall office to Council President Chris Scanlon, who will become the interim mayor. Brown first elected in 2006. He was elected to an unprecedented fifth term in 2021, having beaten India Walton in a write-in campaign. Brown, though, the first black mayor, leaving the city of Buffalo's government to Scanlon with a big fiscal crisis ahead of it. Uh, we should point out that Brown has a couple of accomplishments that he's really proud of, including the Northland Workforce Training Center, transforming it from an idle industrial site into a state-of-the-art workforce, he says, combined with new business operations. The mayor also saw a population rise under his tenure. 2020 census data showed Buffalo's population went up 6.5% over 10 years. It was the first time the population had gone up in four decades. Buffalo's fiscal oversight also moved from hard to soft with that control board that was run by the state, the mayor sitting on the fiscal stability board. Uh, but as we now know, Buffalo is facing a very big deficit when it comes to its finances for the next, next fiscal year. We should also point out that it hasn't always been all roses for the mayor while he was in office. The FBI raided City Hall in November 2019. It was the FBI and the IRS raiding City Hall. Uh, it was a third floor office that they were looking into, the Office of Strategic Planning, which helps rebuild neighborhoods. They were doing court authorized activity, which usually means they were doing a search warrant. We also mentioned that Brown beat Walton in, in a write-in campaign in 2021, but that was only after losing the Democratic primary to Walton. She secured about 11,000 Democratic votes in that primary. Brown won about 9,600 of those votes. But he had a lot of Republican support in that write-in campaign. A lot of those people didn't want to see the city being controlled by someone who's a self described Democratic Socialist. Brown, of course, refused to concede the election at that point. Then we get to May 14th, 2022, when uh, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown had to become the consoler in chief of the city of Buffalo after that devastating top smash shooting laden with hate, riddled by white supremacy, where a uh, gunman came to town shooting and killing 10 black people, hurting three others in this hate-fueled mass shooting. We now know the people who died left such a legacy behind. You can watch all of our coverage right now on WKBW.com as we continue covering Mayor Byron Brown's resignation from City Hall. Where he goes next is something that we will be covering for you as well.